Chapter 2 Fifteen years later, Giancarlo's papa sent him to St. Anthony of Padua's Catholic Church to speak with Bishop Guido Nicotini about having gotten his girlfriend pregnant. His Excellency asked him, where was it you'd met Moria Gruponi? Giancarlo responded, in the Green Hills bowling alley. The bishop remarked, a likely hangout for degenerate souls overindulging themselves. Giancarlo started to explain, saying, Moria and I were, but Bishop Nicotini cut him short, querying, are you being as disrespectful of me as you were of her? Neil. I'll now hear your confession. So began a bubbling dilemma deep within Giancarlo, one echoing off the solid rock walls of dishonor, of disobedience, and of condemnation. His acknowledgement of having gotten his girlfriend Moria pregnant plowed a wake of human frailty seemingly an ocean wide within him. Adrift on a sea of perplexity his heart sunk into a self-made hell. During his long trek homeward on foot in the snow sleet bit at the face of Giancarlo's ineptitude. Each step he'd taken sent his black patent leather shoes ever harder downward to crush the plush pile in the carpet of frozen snow. A wavering wishy-washy attitude of defeat troubled him deeply. Soon afterward he'd hugged the wood fire crackling on the hearth of the fireplace inside Jimmy Majori's tavern. His nerves a shamble he passed back his fingers throughout his curly black hair. Why had he obeyed his papa and gone to the rectory of that dandruff-ridden patriarch with jowls hanging down like a bloodhound's? Overindulgence still his way and now pitying himself Giancarlo polished off pint after pint of ale until he barely could stand at the countertop of the beverage bar.